Hey everyone, today I want to talk about something that affects millions of people in the United States. Student loan debt. You see, education in this country has become insanely expensive. And it's not just tuition and textbooks, it's housing, food, transportation, and all the other costs of living that go along with going to school. So, what do students do to pay for all this? They take out loans. Lots and lots of loans. And when they graduate, they're left with a mountain of debt decline. And it's not just a small problem, it's a crisis. Over 44 million Americans have student loan debt, and the average borrower owes over $30,000. But there's hope. There's a solution that's been gaining momentum in recent years, and it's called student loan debt cancellation. Student loan debt cancellation is exactly what it sounds like. It's the idea that the government should forgive some or all of the outstanding student loan debt in this country. And it's not a pie in the sky idea. In fact, it's been done before. In 2007, Congress passed a law that forgave the remaining debt of people who have been working in public service for 10 years. And now there's a proposal to cancel student loan debt via executive action. So here's how it works. The U.S. Department of Education will provide up to $20,000 in debt relief to Pell Grant recipients with loans held by the Department of Education and up to $10,000 in debt relief to non-Pell Grant recipients. So borrowers are eligible for this relief if their individual income is less than $125,000 or $250,000 for household income. This plan would roughly benefit 38.6 million borrowers and nearly 90% of forgiveness dollars would go to borrowers making under $75,000 a year annually. So it wouldn't be disproportionately benefiting top earners despite the popular narratives. However, this proposal is now being challenged by the Supreme Court. Why, you ask? Well, at the heart of this case is a question that's been debated for years. Should the government be able to cancel student loan debt? On one side, you have people who argue that student loan debt is a massive burden on millions of Americans and that canceling some or all of it would be a huge economic and social benefit. On the other side, you have people who argue that canceling student loan debt would be unfair to the people who already paid off their loans and that it would create a moral hazard by encouraging people to take out more loans in the future. But the stakes are higher than just an economic and moral debate. The Supreme Court's decision could have real-world consequences for millions of people who are struggling to pay off their student loan debt. If the court rules against student loan debt cancellation, it could make it much harder for lawmakers to pass laws or executive orders canceling student loan debt in the future. But there's powerful arguments in favor of student loan debt cancellation, and many legal scholars believe that the government has the authority to cancel student loan debt without going through Congress. Now let's go over the basic legal argument for why student loan debt cancellation is legally viable. The argument goes like this. The government has the power to cancel debt in certain circumstances, and the economic crisis caused by the co would qualify as one of those circumstances. But of course there's those who disagree. The legal argument against student loan debt cancellation is that it would be an overreach of executive power and that only Congress has the authority to cancel debt. So it's a little bit of a legal tug of war, and the composition of the Supreme Court will have a huge impact on the final decision. As of now, the Supreme Court is composed of a 6-3 majority of conservative judges who are less likely to agree with canceling student loan debt. The most recent poll I could find says that 37% of Republicans support student loan debt cancellation compared to 88% of Democrats. With that being said, if the judges voted consistently with the polling, it would be a 6-5 to five vote ruling against student loan debt cancellation. So once you break it down, student loan debt cancellation somewhat, kind of, maybe has a shot. We just have to convince two conservative Supreme Court justices to vote for it. Easy enough, right? Now, this is where I'd like to give a shout out to Solicitor General Elizabeth Prelogar, who recently filed a brief in the Supreme Court supporting the government's authority to cancel student loan debt. Off immediate harm for student loan borrowers, two secretaries across two administrations invoked the HEROES Act to suspend interest and payment obligations for all Americans with federally held loans. But if that forbearance ends without further relief, it's undisputed that defaults and delinquencies will surge above pre-pandemic levels. Her argument was clear. 
The government has the legal authority to cancel student loan debt, and doing so would help alleviate the burden of debt that millions of Americans are facing. So was she able to sway the opinion of our judges? Who knows? But one thing is for certain, canceling student loan debt would have some very real benefits. For one thing, it could stimulate the economy by freeing up money that borrowers would otherwise have spent on loan payments. And it can also help reduce the racial wealth gap as black and brown borrowers are more likely to have higher levels of student debt. And perhaps most importantly, it would be a huge relief for the millions of Americans who are struggling to pay off their student loan. So what can we do to make student loan debt cancellation a reality? Well, we can keep the conversation going. We can put pressure on our elected officials to take action. We can vote for elected officials who do support things like student loan debt cancellation. And we can educate ourselves and others about the real world impact that student loan debt has on people's lives. And of course, we can keep our fingers crossed that the Supreme Court makes the right decision.